How many hours have you spent searching for the trader in Valheim? It can be a long and frustrating process, but there are ways to make it faster. I'm Mediocre Milton, and in this video I'm going to show you how to find Howder the trader in Valheim and where to find the items to sell to him. If you do end up finding this video helpful, please click the like button and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Also, I do stream over on Twitch, link for that is down in the description below. Let's get started. Howder the trader is found in the Black Forest biome. When you start a new world, you will spawn in the sacrificial ruin area here, and it's in a meadow and the starting area is always going to be a meadow. Typically, the Black Forest will surround that starting meadow. So all these areas that I've explored here for the most part are either Black Forest or meadow. The part that is lighter is not gonna be, is going to be the meadows. But this, all this up here is going to be Black Forest. And I happen to find Howdor the Trader down here in the south. Now, I didn't find him until quite a while into this map because I started off going north then I believe I went over to the east, and then I went west, and then finally I said, oh, there's a little spot down here that has land connecting it, and I was able to find him down here to the south. So this is probably one of the better spawns. If you're interested, I will leave the seed to my world down in the description below if you want to just see exactly where he is, because I also have Ekathir very close by. He's typically close by anyway. But people have been unlucky, and sometimes the trader is all the way all on the outside of the map, so all the way over here, up here, seen various spawns. So like I said, I'll leave, a, I'll leave my seed down in the description below if you're interested in uh, finding that. If you've spent dozens and dozens of hours in your world and can't find them and you just want to stay in your world, there's also a console command you can use. I will leave instructions for that as well down in the description below. You can just type that that in the, that command in and it'll show you exactly where it is on your map so you don't have to spend 50 to 100 hours looking for him. Okay, so now we know who Howder the Trader is. Why is he important? The reason he is important is because he sells items that you cannot craft and cannot find around the map or the world. So he has some items. We'll take a look at his menu towards the end of the video. But what I wanted to do first was tell you how you can buy items from him and what you can sell to him. So real quick, we'll look at my inventory and you can see these gold coins. So in order to buy stuff from Howder the Trader, you need gold coins. You can get gold coins. You probably found them from around the map. You can find them in various places. First and foremost, if you kill a troll, trolls will always drop gold coins in addition to their troll skin. They don't normally drop a lot of them, but they're a 100% guaranteed source of coins. There are some other places though you can find gold coins, and I'm gonna show you a couple of those real quick. There are buried treasure, which is what I'm calling it. Buried treasure is basically, it looks like a grave site. So typically in the buried treasured areas, you will find a, I'll, sh I'll show you when I get there, but normally what, what is in them is there's going to be some skeleton skeletal remains and then there's usually a chest and then there's sometimes some other sellable loot that's in the in the within the grave. And then there's also dungeons, which are burial grounds and troll caves. And then if you go to the swamps, the swamps have crypts. So I think each biome has different dungeons. So what I'm going to do really quickly is I'm going to show you, I'm going to go to this buried treasure site right here and then we'll go to a dungeon after that so I can show you exactly what you're looking for when you're in there to sell to Haldor the Trader. So this is what the burial sites will look like, where I, where I marked as the buried treasure. What you're gonna be looking for is out of place stone stock structures. So like these are not, these do not look like the naturally formed stones. These are the naturally formed stones are more round. If you see the ones like this that look like they're placed in a, it looks usually like an ovular shape. This is probably gonna be a location for the buried treasure. So what you're gonna need is a pickaxe. And it doesn't matter which one you use. It, you, to get your first pickaxe, all you have to do is beat Ekthir the first boss. He will allow you to get the antler pickaxe. And what you need to do is you need to dig down on each end. So normally one end will have skeletal remains and the other end will have a chest. Now I think it's random what can spawn. So I have found some. So this one had skeletal remains up here. So I don't think there's a chest up here. So we'll probably move to the other end. I have seen where they only have skeletal remains, but normally there's a chest at one end, skeletal remains at the other, and sometimes there's something in the middle. So let's zoom in real quick here. We're gonna dig down, and there should hopefully be a chest. If not, there is another burial ground, or a burial site right down here. Okay, so here's the chest, and inside the chest, okay, this one didn't have gold coins, but it did have rubies, and it had a silver necklace. These are two of the items that can be sold to a trader. And let's just dig in the middle just to see if we get lucky and find something in here too. I don't know if it's guaranteed to have a spawn in the center, but I did find one in here the other day. So if it's here, it's here. If it's not, it's not. There's another site. There's another burial site right down the, right across the meadow from here. Now, from what I've seen, these are, these burial sites are typically only in the meadow. I have not seen them in Black Forest. I could be mistaken, but I don't believe they spawn in Black Forest. I'm not sure about the other biomes. So right now I don't see anything here. 
I haven't picked anything up right now. We haven't gotten any pearls or rubies. So it doesn't look like there's anything here. The other one on the map is right over here. So let's hop on over here real quick. And uh, we'll dig that one out to see if we can find the other two items that are used. If not, then we will head on down to a dungeon and show you what is inside those that you can sell. So here's another burial site. And like I said, these randomly spawn around the meadows. All right, let's get our stamina back. Dig this out. See if we can get lucky. If I know for a fact that the other two items, it might, these other two items might, I've seen one of the items in the chest here, but the other one might only be inside of the dungeons, which are the like troll caves and the sunken crypts in the swamp, as well as the, I think they're, what are they? And here's the skeletal remains. So we got to go to the other end. Hopefully we get a chest down here. All right, there's trees here. This could be a little bit harder. If the trees are in the way, you can just cut them down. Oh, we got lucky and got the chest right away. Oh, awesome. So this one had an amber pearl. So that's the third item you can sell to the trader. And there's one more that I know is 100%. They're always inside of the dungeons. So let's head on down to a dungeon real quick, and I will show you what to look for inside the dungeons. While I was on my way to one of the dungeons to show you, I stumbled upon a destroy, like partially destroyed building. Now these also randomly spawn. They are typically in the black forest from what I've seen, and they will have sometimes have chests in them. Now, as you can see, before I started recording again, there was a bunch of enemies around here. So normally they are guarded by rage wharfs and sometimes the brutes and then sometimes graylings as well as the shamans. So this one, I think there was like four or five of them. So it was a slightly tough fight. But anyway, the point of this is if you see them, no matter what they look like, typically they're not this broken. Usually, sometimes they're very large. They will have a, they will oftentimes have a chest in them and inside the chest you can find various items. So in this case, this one has amber, which is the fourth item that we have, uh, that we can sell to the trader. It also has some feathers. So we can just get rid of this wood real quick and grab the feathers because the feathers are more important than wood. So I just wanted to point that out while I was on my way over to the dungeon. Okay, so I stumbled upon a dungeon here and look, we actually have a fight going on. The dungeons are always guarded by, the, in the Black Forest, they're always guarded by skeletons. And what will end up happening is the skeletons don't like the Grey Dwarfs and vice versa, so they will actually fight each other. So if you get lucky, you might not actually have to kill very many things because those guys were fighting. So this is the dungeon in the Black Forest. It is called a, let's see, the, the Burial Chambers. In the swamp, they're called Sunken Crypts. Now, if you've never been in one of these before, the biggest, they're, they're filled with, they're basically filled with skeletons. There can also be a Rancid Remains, which is a higher tier skeleton. That, ha that can poison you. So you wanna make sure you go in with high HP if possible. And probably a shield in case there are archers. But what I wanna do is I wanna get out my torch just so you can see. So they're randomly generated in how they look. And what we're looking for is we're looking for chests. So can I kill this guy with a torch? No, okay. He's on fire, but oh, he did die from the fire damage. That's pretty interesting. That is a mob spawn. That's a skeleton spawner in there, so we definitely want to get rid of that as fast as possible so the skeletons don't keep spawning. This is what we're looking for anyway while we're in here. So these, these burial chambers and every dungeon, they are randomly, they're randomly generated. They randomly spawn around the map, and then inside of them, it's a random generation. Sometimes they have a lot of rooms. Sometimes they have very few. What we're basically looking for in here is we got rubies. So there's rubies everywhere. We got amber. We got some coins, and we got what's in this chest? More amber, perfect, coins. We'll grab the feathers. There are also sometimes amber pearls laying around in here. And then of course the certling cores. So the certling cores are more important than the rocks. Certling cores are used for different things. I'll do a, diff I'll do a separate video on that. This also shows, oh, that, oh, we have a much closer elder. That is awesome. So I don't actually have to go up there. I might be able to get to him easier. Sometimes in the dungeons you'll also, the burial chambers you'll also find this, which should, will actually locate where the, where the uh, boss is. So. That's what you find in here. I guess we'll wander through here just for another second to see what's going on and clear it out before we head over to the trader so we can get more loot. I want to make sure we kill these. There's also, there can also be ghosts in here. I don't know if we're going to see one of those. And then of course there's these yellow mushrooms. They're different. They're a different uh, for crafting. Oh, this actually had two spawners. Okay, it's the same guy. Perfect. So each boss can also spawn multiple times. Okay, so perfect. Here we do it. We have amber pearls. So. Those are these are basically the ways to get to get coins. You can get them from killing trolls. You can find them inside of the little like randomly generated ruined structures around the map. They're all over the Black Forest. 
And then inside the black forest, you have the burial chambers, which are filled with skeletons. I guess we should grab some of these mushrooms. What do we not need? Um, we don't really need resin because resin is found like pretty much everywhere. I have tons of resin back in my base. So those are the three places you can find the, the stuff you need to sell to the trader. And then once you get to the other biomes, the other biomes have additional places. Like I know the sunken swamp or the crypts, the swamps have sunken crypts, which are similar dungeons to this that have that have ton they usually have tons of loot in them is this a ghost okay perfect we saw the ghost what does the ghost drop the ghost drops he did not drop anything but this one has tons of startling cores so make sure you grab these because these are super valuable and like i said it's probably best if you've never been in one of these to have a torch or once you kill all the mobs to walk through it with a torch because oftentimes there will be loot just sitting up on little ledges and stuff like that so anyway Let's go head over to the traders, how do the traders so I can show you, sell, sell him all the stuff that we've collected as well as buy the items from him and show you what he has for sale. Okay, I gathered up all of my resources that I can sell. So I have a decent amount of coins. I also have some rubies. We got a couple silver necklaces, some amber pearls and some amber. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head through this portal, which will take us down to Haldor. And then we're gonna sell him our stuff and see exactly what we can buy from him. Now I place the portal, you cannot place the portal inside his protected bubble. I place it up here because I don't believe any enemies can reach it. Perhaps there could be archers that could reach it, but I think that's kind of unlikely. So as you can see, he has this protected bubble around him. And once you're inside of here, the enemies cannot get inside of here. So if an enemy, even if it chases you, cannot get inside of here to attack you. So here's Haldor, here's his locks, which is Halstein. The locks will not bother you and don't step in the fire. So we're gonna click on Haldor. So he has a Yule hat, he has the Diverger circlet, which you can put on instead of a helmet and it lights up your path in front of you. So instead of having to carry a torch, if you're in a dark tunnel, he has Meganjord, which is what we're most interested in. What this does, is it increases your carrying weight from 300 to 450. So you get a 50% increase. That's gonna be really helpful when you're carrying heavy stuff like ores around. He sells your mirror flesh, which is used in crafting higher tier gear. Sells a fishing rod, which of course is used to fish. And fish is one of the best foods in the game. And then he sells bait for the fishing rod. So what we're gonna do is we are going to, and then we're gonna click over here and sell. Oh, so we can sell everything we have. Okay, that's cool. So we sold everything we have and we have 1,267. So what I'm interested in right now is, is buying Megan George. So we're gonna buy that. That leaves us with 317. I'm, once I get a little bit more, I will come back and buy myself the fishing rod. And I don't know what this, a red cap in the style. I don't think this does anything. This is just like a, I guess, kind of like a little troll thing that the, no pun intended, that the devs put in there. So let's real quick equip ourselves with the Megan George. So if we equip this, our carrying weight is going to go up to 450. That's amazing. It does take up one inventory slot, but that's a okay trade-off for now being able to carry 150 more. So that's how it works. That's uh, how you find him. That's what he has for sale, as well as all the items that you can sell to him. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did so, make sure you hit the like button and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Also, I do stream over on Twitch. There's a link for that down in the description below, as well as a link to my Patreon if you want to support the channel even more. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.